Hey guys, this is Adele and Sammy with Motivated by Kindness. We're out here bringing you inspiration every week to help you change yourself for the better. Hey guys, it's Adela speaking, and I'm super excited. This is our first podcast on our channel, and I just can't wait for you guys to follow us on this amazing journey. We've been super, I feel successful in our own heads for two weeks now. and no, It's I've, only been a week. Oh, it's been a week, whatever, I don't week, know time. A week Tuesday, so it's been a week and a half. Yeah, and you know, it's it's crazy because I'm, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, um obviously doing the YouTube videos and going live. We went live, what, last weekend? Mm -hmm. We found places and stuff. But I'm really excited because, you know, we're really hoping when you guys listen to us and you get to really see the raw, like, who we are, who, like, who is, who are Sammy and Adela? And I guess that's what we're trying to bring to these um, podcasts on our channel. So... That's what I'm wondering. I we were just talking about that actually. How like I am the loud, obnoxious, like all over the place. I have so many ex- extreme ideas, and I just shout them out there. And I'm and Sammy's more like, okay, Adela, let's just take it down a notch. Let's do it this way. So she's gonna be more of like the financial piece of it, <laughs> and the brains of the situation. And I'm more of like the wild like, because as you guys know, I'm gonna be handling more of the um the dance part of it the dance and the nightlife part and we're we're obviously going to both do it together but you know it's just we both bring so much to the table and I think that's why we work and um yeah it's it's great I think a more important reason why we work is because we're opposites oh completely opposite yeah. like literally completely opposite but you know what it is though I think opposites attract in every aspect of life friendship relationships well depends but that's a different story that's a different podcast altogether but Mm -hmm. it's just it is true because I bring you out of your comfort zone like I mentioned I I bring you out there and and I I like to have fun I'm out like I I, you calm me down you make me make sure I don't get in trouble I do (laughs) but it's just teach you things yeah and and she yeah and I think in a different way and I think it's great to have different people that you guys have different interests it makes things interesting that's why I think this business is going to work though I think what we have in common is that we both are very kind we both are very motivated hence our name motivated by kindness and you know our logo it really explains who we are what we love what we want from this business and what we want for people to follow us in and um I just think it's going to be great because two different it's just two normal people that have so much to offer so much just to give to the world coming together and it's just going to be great and you know yesterday we were working on the website and then we were kind of looking at all our fun nights and you know sammy was working on like the the like important stuff like food and and i'm over here like okay cool we're gonna have what night and we're gonna have hip-hop night and we're gonna have karaoke well she came up with the karaoke but but you know what I mean? Like we, she handles really important gray stuff. She's done the logo. And, and that's another thing I wanted to bring up is like, our logo is, is you. It's our create. Like, that's the thing. Our logo is creativity that comes from both of us and you just do. And it's there. It's organized. It's pretty. <laughs> it's you. Let me draw something like that. I mean, and guys, if you haven't seen, I mean, obviously you're going to see our logo when you hear this, but it is literally who we are Mm -hmm. you know we just want to change the world and inspire people exactly and make a difference and now that i'm even right now i'm looking at our logo now like it it, like we we literally went into as much detail as to choosing colors that mean something you know the m and motivated i think when we decided to choose the color blue is it blue Mm -hmm. it is blue okay just making sure blue orange green blue orange green and and i honestly i can't even remember what they were but i know they meant one it does mean motivated green means growth Mm -hmm. and then the orange is like fun is what i think it really said but i think that's they all kind of represent like who we are calm and yeah giving and motivated and 
and inspiring and basically everything we want to have. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the hands, kindness and giving, mm-hmm. you know, and then the butterflies, you know, butterflies growth. is growth. And we, we, like, if you see in the logo, you see that there's a butterfly with food in it because obviously everybody's hungry. If, if I'm always the hungry one, I mm-hmm. literally randomly can be like, you know what sounds the bomb right now? Sammy's like, what sounds the bomb right now, Adela? Some pizza. Like, barbecue chicken pizza. And that's why we went to Ord Orchard Beach to go get pizza and drove an hour. But that's a different story. Anyway, mm-hmm. so then obviously you see the musical notes. We're both very musical in different ways. I like to dance. I like to have a fun time. It comes from maybe my culture. I don't know what it is. I played music mm-hmm. in Puerto Rican. We love to dance. We're just It's just in our blood. And I'm very musical. And music really does speak. Like When you're upset, you're listening to music that really gets you hyped. For me, you put on any song and I'm dancing. Ask Sammy. She is definitely yeah, dancing. Dancing all the time. Every song that comes on, I am jamming, I am dancing, I'm walking down the street, my, my kids have, you know, me and my boys are having dance parties all the time. Music is literally, gets you out of anything in your life. I know everybody can relate, any song. I'm more of a lyrics person myself. Well, yeah. I like <laughs> lyrics too, but there's some songs that don't make sense and you're still jamming. Like, let me see, think, think of songs that... I don't know. I'll come up with something. But, like, songs that just have a nice beat. Like the Drake song. Money in the bank. Wait, wait, not money in the bank. That's a whole different song. See, guys, I just go off. This is what's the fun part. It's just, I just literally go off. And it's Money in the Grave by Drake. I was jam. How many times did I jam to that yesterday? How many times did you jam to it today? I think, yeah. was, I think we're at six times now. <laughs> it's just the beat gets to my soul. And it's just, like, great. It's just music. And then Timmy Trumpet. Mm-hmm. Which, guys, I'm going to have in my class. It hypes me up. Oh, it's, and, um, you know, the, the Timmy Trumpet song. I'm dancing now. She's just singing to herself, <laughs> dancing on the couch. But it's just like singing is happiness to me. Singing, dancing, happy. I don't care if I don't sound like, I sound like Beyonce to my damn self. I don't care what anybody says. Music is great. So that's our music butterfly. Music is growth. Obviously, we have the military butterfly we support veterans you know we um we support we support all our troops every single branch we love the military we love what they do um we want to help them as much as possible yeah and there's even somebody close that we know that is looking to join the military so it's just it's something that we have a lot of respect for and we want to we wanted to put it in our logo to show that we that we are there yeah that we support yeah and that's we want to you know who our charity we're going to donate to charity and one of those are going to be to our veterans and you know we're going to have them come into the cafe and have our you know our cute little old veteran that you know fought in a war you know what i mean that that's that's the kind of environment we want we want our little vietnam vets coming into her cafe and hey good morning mr old man jenkins how you doing Oh, that's great. That's how she's going to be. Yeah, because I'm, I'm out gonna there. I'm going to be like, here's your eggs. Here's your scrambled eggs with no salt. <laughs> uh-huh. They're like, oh, you're the best, Sam. And who's that annoying girl? Yeah, who's that noxious ass? No, but they're going to love me. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm pretty out there. I could be shy. Not really. But anyway. But we also have the, the rainbow butterfly. Yeah, the rainbow butterfly. And it's funny because... <laughs> I have to say it that when we had the logo, people thought, I mean, at least for me personally, thought that I was coming out as being gay, and that is not the case. We, I love, and and Sam can vouch for it, I love people. I used to Mm -hmm. hate people and be miserable, but that's a whole different podcast of how I growth and anyway, but I love people. I love everybody. If love is love, you can love, a man can love a man, a girl and that's the type of environment like we love and support everybody and we want everybody to feel welcome there we just want a welcoming inspiring comfortable open place where you can come and talk about whatever exactly be around whoever you want to be around and not feel judged and, and not and feel... dance and and mm-hmm. and be dance like when we went to Ord orchard beach who was adela dancing with and got people to dance with me uh, a, a couple it, it was straight people well not the straight people i told them to get the hell away from me that's a different story 
But, like, everybody. Like, I had, we had a gay couple come up to us, and I was dancing with them like they were my best friends. I was a part of their crew, and they gave me a bracelet that I have somewhere. Where did I put that bracelet? On your counter. Yeah, see? I had, but I'm very, I'm, I love people. And to me, we wanted to make sure, and I think that, I don't know whose idea that was, but I think that we wanted to really incorporate that and and because it's so it's so sensitive these days sometimes to certain people um just that and we wanted just to really show that we love everybody regardless shape size whatever it is as long as you want to inspire people and bring kindness and happiness into the world we want you at the cafe and exactly Kindness and, and kindness and kindness and motivation and kindness and being a great person. It has no color. You can. It has no color. It has no no race. It has no nothing. Anybody can be kind. Yeah. Everybody has it in their hearts to be kind. And I think that's what we're trying to go with this, with with our business. Mm-hmm. We want to change. We we see so many negativity things in the world. You know, we're just two people that just really want to come together and build an amazing thing just think about it guys you're you're like the the post that we did like you wake up in the morning you go to our cafe you you, you're greeted with friendly amazing people and you that coffee you bought for the day is is helping other people yeah and think about it like we're gonna have you know if we can also if you want we can briefly talk about like the menu we're gonna have like what cafe stuff has we're gonna have keto friendly stuff because that's like the new thing i mean i i'm too hungry to be on keto a lot, but I mean, we we want to really welcome everybody. The gluten free, the gluten freeers, the the ketoers, the just, the extra sugars. The like that's if you have high blood pressure, that's your beef. You want to eat this muffin? Like we want everybody there. We want everybody to feel comfortable, and like you know, you wake up, go to our cafe, have that coffee. Every purchase. Maybe not every, but a percentage of... Every purchase counts. Yeah, every purchase does count because we're going to... All that is going to go to a charity for each month. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about it. Each month we get to choose. And I know that when we were talking, um, we were talking about different charities. And obviously we want to help out the youth. We want to help out our veterans. We Mm want to help out whatever it is. And when you walk in, it's going to be in a positive environment. We even talked about like our bathrooms are going to have... Positive well, quotes positive quotes because you know everything. when a girl goes to a bathroom whether if it's a date or, or if she's coming to my class or whatever we want to have her look in the mirror and it says you're beautiful because i firmly believe that every woman is beautiful in their own way every guy is handsome in their own way even though they're all they're all great but <laughs> it's just you know we just want a very happy positive environment and honestly if you come to our cafe to judge you'll get kicked out we should have a security I mean, guy that just punches negative people. No, we're not going to have a security guy that punches negative people. <laughs> see this, guys? You see how I'm just extreme? This is who we are. We should hear us. Like, we should just literally record us planning. It'll you, be con- you would all stop listening after five minutes. Why? Why? Because they'd hear you talk about squirrels and everything <laughs> else, and they'd be like, what the hell? It is true, guys. I literally am just like, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, squirrel! And then they'd be like... Sammy's the bossy one because she's like, I don't let focus. Yeah, they think that. And it's like, it's great. I mean, I need that. I'm very. I think with me, it's just that I just have so much on my brain and I just say it. My, I don't think my thought process and my mouth connect. No, it, they do connect. There's oh, they no do connect. Filter. There's no shut off. Switch. Oh, there's no like little filter to catch the. the Whereas, whatever. like, my brain has too much of a filter, I only let certain things out. Yeah, well, I don't got time for that. So. (laughs) That's why I'm the organized, straight, cut, forward, everything in a straight line person. And and I'm more, I'm the like. The cloud and the bubble and the. And the unicorn flying off a tree. See, I got unicorns in my brain. But, you know, it's just like, that's why I think it's going to be fun. And then the thing is, regardless of how opposite we are, we both want the same thing. We both are kind. We both like, like, I can tell people to F off. If I wanted to, but I'm also kind. It's true. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, people, I may come off as harsh, harsh. I may have freaking resting bitch face, but I really am a kind person. And a lot of people like Adele, you're just so nice and so amazing and positive. And so exactly. Like I have people all the time, like following my journey, like 
I don't go on Facebook often. I don't do this often, but I follow your journey, you know, and, I, and I've been through hell and back. Everybody has. And maybe, maybe that's for, you know, I could briefly just kind of explain, you know, over my life in general have changed in just two years. Mm -hmm. I was telling Sammy that, like, you know, we were thinking about our podcast ideas and stuff. And I said, you know, I, I really want to talk about, and I think it's inspiring about what I do. I, I've, two years ago, I was like, you know, the cat, see, squirrel. Oh, she's getting distracted again. <laughs> see, but squirrel. We're, we're going to have a bunch of different podcasts and each one is going to be on a different topic and mm -hmm. we're we're just going to be able to talk about different things and make everybody feel welcome and, feel and wanted and and everybody's going to relate that's the key point mm -hmm. everybody we're gonna and that's that's what i've been told recently too like he, like people say it's great to have someone feel that way i've always felt that way and it's just like you know like it just feels great to know that I'm making a difference. And the thing is, I'm just simply being me. I'm simply being my fun. Adela, yes, do I have my moments? Absolutely. Everybody has their moments where you're just like, meh, I don't want to do nothing with my life. And then, but then you just wake up and you're like, wow, I have a lot of life to live. It's just everybody has their moments. Nobody's perfect. And it's and it's okay. That's the message I, I guess I want to portray and, and say is like, Everybody goes through their shit, but it's going to be okay. Life mm -hmm. is going to be great, and you just got to do you and keep it moving. And a term that I've been using a lot at the beginning of my journey is rip the Band-Aid off. You want to make a change so bad. You have that cut under, like, like okay, so you have a wound. You put a Band-Aid on it, and... Wait, I don't know where I'm going. See, squirrel. Yeah. Like... Like, you just want to rip, like, you know, you want to rip the band-aid off because, like, your cut is finally healed, I guess, you what I'm trying it, to go. You and want it to be a, a quick rip instead of a slow. Exactly. Like, just, basically what I'm trying to say is just freaking go for it. Mm -hmm. Go for it. You have nothing to lose. YOLO, one life to live. Just do it. See, I look at things a different way, and I say, how can I make a difference in somebody else's life today? Every day I wake up. And I think about something I could do for somebody else, whether it be holding the door for somebody, mm -hmm. whether it be going and buying groceries for somebody, oh, yeah, or yeah. <laughs> it be, you know, it could be anything. You, you could pick up a penny and hand somebody a penny on the street. Well, that's the thing, like, too. Like, or, or there are times where I'm like, you know what? Always smile at somebody. Mm -hmm. Always, if you're at some place, I mean, it's hard for me because I have resting bitch face but i really like when i see somebody that looks miserable you smile maybe they had a bad day you don't know their story exactly you don't know what's going on in their life and you holding the door saying hey have a great day yeah change their or like oh life. i love your dress like i say when i see a nice mm -hmm. person in there you, yeah i talk to anybody hey i love your dress it's i was cute. in an elevator today at the doctor's office and i opened the freaking elevator door for a woman carrying a baby Mm -hmm. and I was like oh you're going down she's like oh my god thank you so much exactly yeah and I was like no problem like and it probably made that mom mm -hmm. stay because you know as, a, as a, a mother of two you know it's just like any little simple thing like even you in general like you change my life every day I change your life every day but that's a different story but you know like we just little things that make a world of a difference mm -hmm. and it can happen as friends it can happen as a stranger on the street at Walmart just doing something little it could be if you're married and or in your relationship and you know that your wife likes the dishes put away or something just little simple things like that could truly make a difference can truly change people's lives like life mm -hmm. is really not that complicated no life well, is not that extreme a simple smile a simple can i get the door for you can i put this away for you can i do something a simple thank you exactly manners like where the heck did manners go I don't know but it takes one small thing to change somebody's entire thought process mm -hmm. it truly truly does it really does you, you don't know what those people or that person's going through that day you don't know what anybody's going through any day mm -hmm. it can, can be as easy as you know let it letting somebody come in while you're driving to work exactly that's another thing too like i let people in mostly all the time like especially when i come home mm -hmm. And it's, there's a lot of construction. Yeah. And it, it, who, like, you never know if that mom has to get home to get her kid to soccer or 
that dad has to get home to make sure his wife gets help. Like, you don't know. I always let people go, and it probably makes her day. You just never know. And then you have those people that just, like, don't let you in, and you're like, but I'm a good person. Just let me in. And you just throw yourself in there, and now you look like the jerk. It's just, but as long as, like, just little simple stuff like that. Helping a spider out of the pool when it's drowning. That's what I did recently, <laughs> too. <laughs> You guys see my, you see how kind I am, guys? I really did. Skimming your pool. Uh, she's afraid of spiders, too. Yeah, and I saved the little guy, and I said, Go on, my little friend. Live your life. He probably died anyway, but at least I <laughs> saved him. That's my act of kindness. I was scared when I did that. I was scared. Like, you know, but just little things like that, and it's just, like, it's amazing. It, it truly is. Just, you know, it, it really does. Like, when people hold doors open for me, mm-hmm. I feel like... You feel important. I feel like, oh, you feel shoot. special. You feel yeah, like you feel you great. Have a I feel like either. Queen Khaleesi from the Game of Thrones, and I never even seen that, but I feel like I'm that great. I never seen it. That's a different story. But anyway, Anyways, it's just getting off track. Yeah, getting off track. Squirrel. But no. it is true. You have to. Anything is kind. Just be you, kind. You don't have to go out of your way to do anything for anybody. You exactly. Just have to doesn't have be to be forced and you have to yeah you know just be yourself and do something nice or paying like paying it forward at the tolls like when people do that you, you know how shocked i am when i go through a toll and i'm getting on my little scruffly dollar that came out from you know from laundry from and narnia and then <laughs> and then they say oh it's all set i still hand over my dollar and says okay cool i'll pay for the person behind me you know how like great that must be i mean it must get annoying for the toll attendant because she has to keep saying they paid, the for, you, paid for you the yeah. person paid for you the person paid for you until so there's just one guy that's like yeah screw it i ain't doing it and just like breaks the chain but i think it's just even when that happens to me you know how lucky i feel that day like i feel like wow like someone really is looking out for me exactly and it feels so great and then i paid it forward and it's just a good feeling to just be kind be good use manners i don't understand why people don't use it often i don't i i don't understand a lot of things but that is like the no- one number one thing i it's don't the understand the easiest thing to do exactly is to just be there to smile at somebody mm-hmm. or to give them a compliment or anything that makes them feel better mm-hmm. it's the easiest thing to do and nobody does it nope and it's just like I I can honestly with posit like with confidence say that I am that person. I'm always saying something nice about somebody, or just asking somebody, "What's on your mind today? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling today?" Asking if people are okay. Exactly because there what if there's people out there that are always doing and doing and doing for other people and they get ne- they never get asked if they're okay. But just doing little things like that really goes a long way. And like if like you know a friend that's doing a diet or something and you've seen that they lost weight just simply saying wow you look great like Mm -hmm. that's great you know like just little things like that and then when i say things it's like oh you're right you know thanks very much and it's just like little things like that can really change people's lives and it's just like that's what i want to the world to be like one day that's what i want to raise the boys to be like Mm -hmm. i want them to be kind and they are kind ish sometimes (laughs) (laughs) but but you know what I mean? Just like, it's just, being kind is not that much work. No. Being rude is that much work, to be it's honest. It's more... It's more work. You know, as they say, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. See? There she goes with her, like, little side facts that I enjoy because I did know that actually. Ha! I knew that. See? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it doesn't take any extra effort to say how are you today or Mm -hmm. to just be a listening ear yep and it really doesn't like it's just i just wish the world had more of it that's it i want i have that's what we're bringing into the world that's exactly that's what i hope that this that's not what i hope that's what i know this cafe is gonna bring Mm -hmm. it's gonna be amazing like we envision it every day we envision like we're gonna like the thing is that we're gonna be those business owners that are there every single day I mean, I'm not a morning person. I'm not going to be there at 4 in the morning, but we're going to... I'll be there at 4 in the morning. But... <laughs> she got distracted by the cat. Squirrel. Or a cat at this point. Yeah. She'll be a part cat. of it, too. But, but you know, just like, we're going to be there. We're going to be a part of it. Heck, I'm going to be teaching the classes. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there participating in karaoke night. I mean, y'all don't want me to be participating, but I'm going to be... We're going to do the song together, and exactly. everybody's going to be like, we're leaving this place. My friend, everybody got a big gray. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be down, great. To my face. If you can see me... Mm, mm, mm. But you know what I mean? Like, we're going to we're gonna be there. Like, I'm going to teach the dance while Sammy's running the cafe during the day. We're making sure that... I, and then we're going to make sure... In our hiring process, like we talked about this, we're going to hire people that believe in the same thing. And we're also going to be mentoring youth mm-hmm. in the community and each one of our staff members is going to have somebody they're working with one-on-one exactly that that kid that needs that extra help that kid that's never had a home that's never had a friendship or someone to look out for them that's mm-hmm. what this cafe is going to be they're going to wake up every morning have a purpose and be like oh i'm going to go and mm-hmm. they're going to know that there's somebody there for them exactly they're, they're going to know somebody's leading them in the right way mm-hmm and that's exactly what it's going to be. And I can't wait. Like, I literally dream about it. I dream about, like, the smell of the cafe and then, like, our funky t-shirts. And t-shirts is a whole different thing. Ever since we started this thing. She keeps saying she wants to make t-shirts. And I keep going, with what money? It, hey, it's going to happen. I will draw. I mean, well, I'll let you draw. But we'll get some t-shirts <laughs> from Michael's. We'll draw it. Like, I just, I envision it so much that I, I can smell it. I'm a dreamer. I can literally put myself to dream, to sleep by dreaming and I and I just envisioned the smell and like when we saw that last location and I, I just envisioned it in my head or sign the way my dance studio is going to look the way the nightlife part is going to look the way the cafe like I just envisioned it and it's just amazing to just like like we're going to be there we're going to be a part of it we're not going to be the the boss that like hires everybody and just does nothing no, eventually it's our place. exactly like it's our it's our place exactly like we're going to be there I'll be there at 7 a.m. No, you won't. 8 a.m. <laughs> and I will Keep be... Keep going. <laughs> 9 a.m. <laughs> but I'll, I'll be, be there, there at 6. She'll be there at 9. And yeah. then she'll be there later. And I'll be home making dinner. Yeah, but, you know, like... You got to, um... It's just we're going to be there. I'm going to be... We're going to be hands-on. Like, I was saying mm-hmm. that, like, you know, my last class on a Thursday night. Because we're going to do classes... During the day, if we can fit that in, but also I'm going to need a break and survive, and I have kids, and eventually have a husband or whatever, you know, and it's just like, I'm going to have my own life too, but I'm going to be there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to incorporate my kids with this. Um, Jacoby's going to be, it. like, <laughs> dancing. Carter is too, but you know what I mean? Like, we want to be so a part of it and so there and so involved, and it's just going to be great. Once I, like I said, like, Thursday night, Saturday, Friday, and Saturday are going to be classes at night six to seven seven's our last class that gives me a couple hours to freshen up get ready and then we're gonna have nightlife we're talking like a dj okay a dj planned Mm -hmm. we're gonna have a dj like music we're gonna have nights like you know like in our in our list on our website which is up and coming we're gonna have you know the dj we're gonna have um i think we said the um 80s music night Spanish have music. All kinds of nights. Yeah, like Spanish music nights. If you want to go and tracata and shake your booty and Spanish music, then that'll be one night. And I know a lot of y'all do. You ask me all the time. We're going to have that kind of night. We're going to have like, what was our other list? Like so many cool, fun night. Country night, all country music. It's going to be great. And now my ass is still going to be dancing. And I'm putting the get up song. And then I'm going to two step in cowboy boogie. Got a sweet cock. Uh huh. She's going to teach everybody how to do it as she does it. <laughs> yep. And dance it. She yeah. does it in her kitchen. All the time, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to do that. Like, we're going to have so much fun. Everybody's going to be welcome. Like, I want me a grandma dancing with me. Like, Grandma Jenkins. We do gonna... have one. Well, yeah, we do. <laughs> Love her. But we're going to have one that's dancing. Like, it's, I want everybody to just have fun, have a good time, and just mm-hmm. while we're all having a good time. Bring and... positivity back into exactly. the world. Exactly. We want you to leave happier and more inspired than when you came in, mm-hmm. and we want you to spread that. And spread it. Because it all starts with one person. One person. One person can change the world. Mm-hmm. And at this case, it's going to be two amazing people changing the world. and One person at a time. Mm-hmm. Or as I like to say, one sandwich at a time. Oh, yeah, sandwiches. What time is it? I'm hungry. <laughs> Eleven forty-one p.m., guys. You see how dedicated we are? Damn it, now I want a sandwich. You see, guys, this is this is how it happens. We're just, like, talking about sandwiches. And and um, so, I, you know, maybe we can just close it off. But, um, yeah, definitely, this is about podcast timing. But 
just this is what we're going to bring to you every week. A new topic. I think today was technically like all about kindness and just mm-hmm. being kind and next what we want to do and where we plan to go and mm-hmm. and every week we're going to have a different topic and we hope you follow and and and, and share with your friends mm-hmm. and I I truly believe in it. I truly believe yeah. that we'll be like I listen to podcasts. I mean, I was today years old when I learned about them and I thought it was great and and I don't live by podcasts. Yeah. But but I, my, my dream is to have people listening to us every week mm-hmm. on our way to the cafe, taking that coffee, going to work, having a great day, and be like, you know what, I had my coffee from my favorite cafe, and I can't wait because right when I get out of here, I'm going to go and dance fitness with Adela. It's going to be great. I lost 10 pounds. like, mm-hmm. And just have that great positive energy every morning. Yeah. Eventually, we're going to have one in every state, city. Wait, where are we going? City or state? I'm thinking like every planet, but that's just me. Good aliens, luck getting to every planet, dear. Aliens would be like, ooh, I come in peace. And then they have like the little MVK t shirts. <laughs> MV- <Oy. laughs> little t shirts, little ET. Mm-hmm. But e- if you want this to happen and you want this to become a thing, you definitely have to find us on Facebook, mm-hmm. find us on Instagram, like, share. You know, we've got to go find me up. Yeah. Go and look that up and. Help and a donate. lot of people believe, and and if we that's if you want to just even sharing it helps us. Mm-hmm. We're not asking people to freaking pull out every inch, every chain. No, I mean if you can just share, share our story. Just simply share it. Believe, follow us. Like we're we're just us. We're here. we're just trying to make a difference. A simple like, a help. simple share will get us out there. Get us out there to people. Let let the world see. Let Ellen see us. Ellen, <laughs> could you see us? I would love to be on Ellen, guys. If y'all get me on Ellen. You don't understand free co- free coffees for everybody. I will I will brew it myself. I will brew. I will make the beans myself. I will do whatever oh whatever coffee you want. I will del- hand matter of fact. I will deliver it to you. Get me okay, on she's Ellen. She's going a little above and beyond. Yeah, sorry, but anyway, but because I'm so extra, but anyway, get me on Ellen. Ellen will okay, help us. Stop. I'm just saying, Ellen will help I us. I know Ellen will help Wait, us. Wait, but... car. Okay, she's distracted again. <laughs> But yeah, definitely find us in all of our social media and share with all your friends and help us make a difference. Yep. So just want to talk about the social media. So we have a Facebook, all Motivated by Kindness. So Motivated by Kindness on Facebook, Motivated by Kindness on Instagram, um, YouTube channel, Motivated by Kindness. And our hashtags that we're using mostly is, um, I've been using MBK, Motivated um making a difference motivated kindness, by kindness motivated by kindness just like, like this is what we want to do and we re- truly appreciate the love and support so far and we just really want to go from what 87 88. likes 88 likes to 88,000 we're not asking for the millions that'll be great but i'll be fine with 88 88- we just want to get to 100 at yeah this point. <laughs> You know, it's just like, we just want to get out there. And we, again, we, we, like, from the bottom of our hearts, we're so happy so far with the love and support. And just, if you can just help us and follow us, and we'll be here, we'll be fun. And, yep. 